So AMD have announced their desktop Ryzen 9000 series at Computex this week, but they left a few details out, the most prominent being the price. Um, kind of as we expected as well, the X3D versions of the chips. So as gamers, should we care about the vanilla 9000 series chips that are releasing in July, or should we hold on for the X3D chips whenever they release? Let's break it down. First of all, let's talk about IPC or instructions per clock. In short, this is how much stuff that the CPU can do per clock cycle. So it's a big deal whenever we get improvements here. AMD claim an average of a 16% IPC increase from Zen 4 to Zen 5, which is pretty good uh, in terms of incremental improvement and not to be sniffed at. However, which Zen 4 chips are they comparing to? If we look at the press release on the AMD website, we can see the claim of 16% uplift on IPC with a teeny tiny number four next to it. So always look out for these whenever you're reading press releases. If we scroll down to the bottom of the press release, we find the number four. We can see that both the Zen 5 and Zen 4 systems are both being tested using DDR5 6000 memory. Fine, that's okay. But crucially, we can see that the Zen 4 CPU they're putting up against their 16 core 9950X Zen 5 system is just a 7700X. Now, that is an eight core part, not quite an apples to apples comparison, I would argue. The 9950X has a base frequency of 4.3 gigahertz and a boost of 5.7, whereas the 7700X has a base of 4.5 and a boost of 5.4. It only has 40 megabytes of cache versus the 80 on the 9950X. Why they didn't use the 7950X Zen 4 chip, which is much more similarly specced, is strange to me. Um, it has a boost of 5.7 and a base of 4.5 and the same 80 megabytes of cache. So that, that to me would have been a more apples to apples comparison. So it's a bit odd to me that that wasn't the case. But bigger than that, the elephant in the room for me is why they wouldn't show us gaming benchmarks using their go-to gaming CPU for Zen 4, that is the 7800X 3D. Why didn't they compare the 9950X to the 7800X 3D? My guess is probably um, it didn't make for very good graphs. Bottom line, we're going to have to wait for third party independent reviews, but my gut feeling is that a 9700X is going to give similar performance to the 7800X 3D, just in the ballpark. Kind of similar to how the 7700X from Zen 4 was kind of similar to the 5800X 3D. I don't know. What do you all think? Leave a comment. Um, let me know. However, one ray of hope for gamers um, with the non-X3D 9000 chips that have been announced so far is the improvements that we've seen within the cache architecture. AMD claim it's doubled the bandwidth uh, between its level 1 and level 2 caches, as well as the level 1 cache to the floating point unit. Um, it's no secret that increases in cache performance can improve things massively for us as gamers. After all, just look at the effect of the X3D chips with their massive amounts of cache. So it's possible that these non-X3D Zen 5 parts that we've seen announced could perform very well in gaming versus their Zen 4 counterparts purely due to these cache improvements. As for motherboards, we're getting X870 and X870E chipset motherboards, no mention of the more affordable B series boards yet. But what they did say was that the AM5 socket is going to get support into 2027 and possibly beyond with their little plus sign at the end of the uh, year. So this is an extension to their original 2025 plus offering. So that's another two years, potentially more. This is great to see. Um, again, we don't have prices yet. I'm not sure why they didn't announce pricing unless, of course, pricing is set to be pretty awful and they didn't want to ruin a good presentation. I think it's hard to assess the value proposition of these chips until we really have that pricing info. Either way, they're launching in July, so we won't have long to wait. So what are you all thinking? Let me know in the comments. I think for me, I'm going to hold for the X3D chips. As I've said before on the channel, I'm a big time flight simmer. And that game is all about single core performance, um, especially when you load it up full of mods and traffic injection and all that stuff. It loves the vCache. We'll have to wait and see what the reviews say for themselves. Maybe the new cache architecture improvements will provide some big gains, but I really want to see how much of a gain relative to the 7800X 3D and not the 7700X that they've been comparing to in their slides so far. But that's just me. Let me know what your upgrade plans are, if you have any at all. Um, I'd be keen to hear from you. And as always, thank you very much for watching, folks. A bit of a short and sweet one today, but I wanted to get this one out. 
Until next time, take the very best care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.